So yeah, good. My name is Sylvie Deschamps, a former PSAC employee with 30 years of service with a flawless record. Back in 2008, I was suspended by the then President John Gordon during a grievance hearing where he diagnosed me as being a danger to myself and others. This without any complaints against me ever. I then filed grievances with the Alliance Employees Union, that's a union within a union, which were tasked with representing me. From the get-go, I had to hire my own lawyer in order to get adequate representation from AU. I am convinced that without having a lawyer, my case would have fallen into limbo. My case dragged on for five long years. On April 15, the arbitrator, Michel Piché, ruled that the PSAC had violated my rights by suspending me without pay and ruled I'd be reinstated. He also said PSAC's actions were basically a witch hunt for fact checking as the PSAC was insisting that I get an independent medical examination, which I refused to do. The arbitrator awarded me monies for the lost wages and benefits. On the same day I received the award, I was fired with cause by the PSAC. Since they could not get rid of me by claiming I was a danger, they, determined, they decided to terminate my employment by stating I had been disloyal because I had written to the president of the CLC and ACFO to request their help so I could reintegrate my, my job. The PSAC also claims that I blocked and made derogatory and harmful comments regarding my employer. I totally disagree with that, with these allegations, as my posts dealt with facts and were entirely true. And also, I never, and I, I, I would like to say that in capital letters, never did I provide any confidential information whatsoever that would have compromised the PSAC. If that had been such a concern of them, they would have fired me back in 2009. PSAC now will have to prove their allegations in court as I will be filing a lawsuit. I was only fighting for my reputation and to get my job back. I was simply following in PSAC's footsteps when they fight to obtain justice for their members. Since the the uh, arbitration decision has been rendered, I again must fight, this time to, get, to obtain the rest of the monies stemming from the arbitration award. Even though I requested on numerous occasions uh, that AU, the internal union representing me, communicate with the arbitrator to get it involved to force the PSEC to pay me, all my requests have been ignored. AU has simply been resending repeated emails to PSEC requesting confirmation for a payment date, which is turning out to be a farce. AU is a union within a union, which equates to the police policing the police, which serves the PSAC quite well. And I have some copies of all the correspondence that I have given you, so you can uh, verify that my claim is uh, true. And as you can see today, there's nobody from AU to support me, uh, which is not a big surprise to me. The president of AU would not face the music and face the reporters today, but indicated that she would be happy to answer your questions only by email, though. So now back to the PSAC, they've provided me at least three or four dates for payment, which never happened. I keep getting excuses after excuses. So I've provided the PSAC with all my T4s, all my revenue statements, everything else imaginable, and it's still not enough for them to process what I do. Uh, and also the PSAC has been passing my file from one HR employee to another since mid-April. I think it's a shame that PSAC and AU are unions that are supposed to be protecting employees and they that to their own. And I'm not the only case there. It's pretty toxic. So I'm here today to denounce the actions of both unions, AU and PSAC, in the hope that the arbitrator will be forced to get involved and force the PSAC to finally give me the money that I am owed. So I would like to thank you today and appreciate your involvement in coming here. Thanks so much.